Hi, Scorpio. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you at this time. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Knight of Cups. Something's moving forward. Something is maybe been taking its time, but there's definitely some sort of offer. The person that you are thinking about or dealing with it may give you some sort of offer. Yep. Definitely some movement in a relationship where maybe it's previously been stuck. Six of Cups. And, wow, the Ace of Cups. For some of you specifically, this may be a new connection at your job or school that you don't see yet, okay? It doesn't mean it has to be somebody from the past. It may mean that this person is already around you. For others of you, this may be someone, yes, who's coming back in. There may be someone who you haven't spoken to since August for a few of you. Maybe June, July, or August. So maybe during the summer is the last time you spoke to this person or saw them. They could be coming back in. Um, they could be communicating with you. But there's definitely forward movement in a connection here for you, Scorpio. And this is the cup that they're offering. You can see right here. So what is going on for Scorpio? Wow, lovers. Page of Swords. Could be a fire sign. I'm gonna let me use the other deck just to see. So Leo Sagittarius, Sagittarius Aries. We have your energy here and also, Gemini is here. Okay, there might be a Cancer involved. Also, Virgo fell out. So, Earth with water, water with Earth. Maybe a Sagittarius as well for some of you. Definitely could be an admirer on this under the deck. This is definite forward movement. This is breaking out of stagnation. So, if it's if it's now if it's a connection of this person, things are going to take a huge move forward. They're going to start moving. Ahead. I mean, you have several cards here. You got the Eight of Wands, you got the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Six of Swords. So, this is like taking it to the next level. This is the new phase. For others of you, this might also, though, be breaking out of a certain situation. If that's, I mean, that could be a job, a living situation. This is moving. This person definitely admires you. Time the Page of Swords is in their energy. Usually, it is always, of course, them, you know watching you, looking at you, admiring you. Yes, it could be some messages or something like that as well. They've been waiting to take, they've been taking their time. They definitely be a Sagittarius. I get this person just wants to take things to the next level with you, Scorpio. I feel kind of like they want to lock you down um, before you move on. It's kind of what I'm getting. What is this Eight of Wands? What are these messages? Nine of Coins. Yeah, there's an offer here. King of Wands energy. Okay. So again, it could be Leo specifically, but this is good news. This person is a lot of fun. This person is happy. This person may want a whole, you know, a whole brand new beginning with you. Maybe marriage. In this deck, it doesn't really look like a, a baby. You know, the other deck it does. But maybe it could represent something new, right? Something new growing. We've got the flowers there and the, the child. I think that's a little boy. Okay. What else is going on for Scorpio with this person? What else is going on with this person? Why are they taking their time? The page of coin. The Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. This is someone who definitely doesn't want to give up on the two of you. So even though there's been there has been a lull, maybe in the communication or in the action of this uh, relationship, it is definitely taking a big leap. Now they may be someone who flies. You know, they may be in like the travel industry or the airline industry or something. They may travel for work a lot or drive a lot or something like that. They may not be around a lot or something like that. I get this person also has been working a lot. I feel like they may have been in like some sort of, um, you know, like when you're an accountant and you do taxes, you're really, really busy for like the first, you know, four months, five months of the year. And then it kind of slows down. I feel like there's something like that where they have to, I feel like they had to take care of something and it took like six months. So I'm not sure exactly what it was, but kind of the feeling I'm kind of getting from this person. What is this tower energy for you, Scorpio? See, again, this is, I mean, it's 10 of coins. Your, re your reading is showing me very clearly that this person wants to take the next step with you. And it's a big step. So it's, it's, being in a committed relationship, being married, moving in together or moving all together. Yep, there you are, Scorpio. Judgment and the chariot. Wow, so again, a lot of forward movement, the ten of coins. This person wants commitment. They want to get married. They want to like have um, shared resources. They want to have a big house together. 
Um, I feel like this person is like a business person. It's kind of like they feel like they almost feel like they're no nonsense. I feel like they're very kind and loving and caring, but I feel also like this person doesn't come with a lot of baggage. Uh, they may have already been married at one time, but and maybe even have children or grown children, but I don't feel like a whole lot of drama. Like this isn't a person who put up with drama. They wouldn't put up with any type of drama from anyone. They have um, education or they have been, um, they traveled a lot. Maybe they, they just have, a, I can tell this person like they're established. They are established, Coco? Well, good. So... It's kind of like, again, they the reason they're with you, Scorpio, the reason they want you, Scorpio, is because they see like you are legit, like you're straightforward. You know what you want. You don't play games. Um, you're confident. You're strong. I think, the, I guess like they, they, they want the best and they expect the best and so do you, Scorpio, and when they look at you, you just fit their, that's not romantic, does it? I'm trying to explain what I'm feeling. It's not coming off good as usual. So let me see what they like about you. Let's go to this deck and see what they like about you. Why they want to move this forward. I'm going to... Because we have beautiful cards here. I'm seeing someone with a very large like wedding in the future. I'm seeing someone who really does love you. But this person is very down to earth. So they may be... What came out? Cancer and a Virgo? They feel very grounded. They feel very practical, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. I feel it's like they've established like a large bank account or a large company or career. Um, what do they like about what do they like about Scorpio? If you're curvy, they love your curves. Uh, they love that you're a, you're woke and that you're educated. Now again, educated may not mean like this means you're smart. Street smart, book smart, you're world traveler. That's kind of what I feel about them as well. Something else. It was love at first sight with you. It's like when they saw you, Scorpio, they knew they had to have you. You you are everything they were looking for. They may be a world traveler. They may have met a lot of people, but no one has ever matched you. You were like the, the Empress energy, the Nine of Coins. The thing is when I channel messages in the evening, like it's, it's evening right here, right now, they don't flow as good in the morning. I, for some reason, like the words come through easier for me in the evening. It's it's hard for me sometimes to articulate and get the words out that I need. It's it's interesting when I read, but some of you, if you um, you may you will have children. If, like some, like if you are um, able to have kids and want kids and get married and all that thing, you will with this person. I'm seeing that in the future. Others of you. You may do a lot of traveling with this person in the future, or you may have an established, um, like you may establish some sort of, excuse me, nonprofit or something like that is also I'm getting. Um, you have something you're running, maybe a new business or something, but yeah, Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion here. Nine of Coins. I see you redoing your wardrobe. I see you having more money to spend on yourself, your clothes, your, you know, makeup or skincare or, you know, whatever you buy, whatever you like. Um, so I see this definitely going to the next level. I see you guys engaged, I see you married. I see you happy. What else is going on here for Scorpio? What do you want Scorpio to know, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know? Goals. I see you being very financially stable. So I see somebody with planes, traveling. It could be your honeymoon, it could be you guys travel a lot, or this person may be in the indus airline industry or travel industry or something like that. But the goals card is definitely, I do see your financial goals being met. So I feel you feeling very ground, um, not grounded, very safe, nurtured, cared for. Uh, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. See, even that's not very sexy. See, this person doesn't really matter the sign. They could be an earth sign, but they seem a little bit more practical. And they do things, you know, um, they don't cut corners. They don't do things off emotions. They dot their I's, cross their T's. They have, you know, they have everything in place. You know, when I get off this person, you're going to feel very safe and secure. And like that, things are going to be taken care of for you. Um, you have fun. You have the freedom. This feels like kind of an extended reading. But you have the fun and freedom that you need, but you have the security that you crave as well. Um, they do, okay, go to this one. Okay. 
I'm going to go to this deck for you. What else does this person want to say to Scorpio? What would this person say to Scorpio? They're saying they don't know how to feel. I know what they feel about you because I can see it in the tarot. I can see it in the cards. There's love here. There's happiness. There's joy. So I'm not sure what that means. I don't know how to feel. That could be you saying it to them because this whole reading is from their perspective. Maybe this catches you off guard. Maybe that's kind of what I'm missing here. Something does feel like it's slightly off, but maybe it's you because I feel like this person's happy. They want you. Maybe this is sudden. And it did, I, I did get it was sudden. The tower's sudden, but I want to tell you how I feel. See how it's contradictory? I don't know how to feel. I want to tell you how I feel. I watch your social media. I want you. And something about I still feel the pain. So there must have been some sort of separation be between the two of you at some point. Because it does show like they're coming back. There's messages coming in. So some of these may be from your perspective as well. Like I already said, maybe this is something on your side. And that this whole thing may catch you off guard by the sudden movement this person wants to take with you. I feel like, I'm going to be honest, with the energy I'm feeling this person, that they really do love you. This isn't someone just screwing around. Someone who is, um, I'm feeling like also for some of you, you wanted to get married to this person before. Maybe they weren't ready or they said no or something like that, possibly. I'm getting something about Dubai. I'm definitely getting Dubai. I got it earlier. I'm getting it again. I don't know what that has to do with anything. But I'm definitely getting like something where, yeah, maybe this person turned you down at one point or you turned them down. But it feels like a reading that's like doesn't have a lot of emotion attached to it. I don't know why it feels that way. And just like, this is what it is. I want to marry you. I want to be happy. I want us to be together. I don't want games. I don't want drama. I just want you. And I want to be happy. So this person could be coming back in. Maybe, again, like I said, like you turned them down at one time and you just don't really know. There was denial here about, about this connection. Says unchain my heart. This says I know you, you know me. I still feel stuck in this and want to free myself. So stuck on you. I don't know, is this somebody that you turned down at one time, Scorpio? And they're trying to come back and tell you that they want you back, that they want you and only you. Because this may be, again, like I said, a marriage proposal. They may have to fly to see you possibly. They want to know your final answer and what it is you want. Maybe that's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like they're laying it out in front of you and saying, this is what I want to give you. This, 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 and this. This is where we'll live. This is what I want to do. It sounds like it's going to be what you want as well. It's not going to be just strictly what they want. It's like they want to give you what you want. And if you say no, then it's like they'll be gone forever. But if you say yes, I see you guys being very happy. I see this person very happy. I feel like they want to give you some sort of financial um, help as well or money gift or something. So, Because they're still stuck on you. They're tired of not, not telling you this or not having... Like they want to know the final answer and chain my heart. What is it? So all right, I'm going to pull one card from this deck. I'm going to pull one I know whoever this is for, you understand exactly what's going on. This hits home. You know exactly how this person feels and what's going on here. I do feel like this person does love you a lot. The pearl. Uncovering lost wi wisdom, hidden knowledge. And a spyglass. It says, zoom in. Take a closer look. The feeling I get, I really do get like this person loves you. I really do feel that. I feel like then they must be telling you something that you didn't know something that you didn't see before. Um, you didn't see how this person truly felt about you. I feel like for some Scorpios, this is like a dream come true. This is a connection that is a dream come true. And again, maybe you didn't know this person felt like they were in pain. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it there, Scorpio. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.